Hi you guys, this is Nicole from My Carolina Garden and today I want to walk you through some DIY projects that are for the holidays to add some natural elements into your home. These projects are largely going to be created with found items. So things on your property like evergreen stems, maybe some sticks, some pine cones, some plants like hollies that have berries on them, that sort of thing. And then I'll show you some of the other items that you need that would be store-bought. My favorite berry stems are from my Yopon Weeping Holly. So I have collected some stems from there. I have collected some pieces of Leland Cypress and also my green emerald arborvitae. I have some pine cones. These I did not find in my own yard, but luckily my friend had some I could gather. And I believe these are from a white pine. I did also take some cones from my magnolia tree. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I have them here. My store-bought items are ribbon and I have various colors so I can make a decision at the end as to how I wanna tie my uh, project off. And also I have some just green paddle wire. This is going to be used to just hold things together. And then I have clippers for the wire and for the plants. So the first project we're going to make is called a kissing ball and it actually requires two items that are store bought that I forgot to mention because my foam balls, which is going to be the base for our project, were out soaking in a bowl of water and so I forgot about that. But you're going to need the foam balls, these are just four inch, and also a straw to poke through the center. To start things off for our kissing ball, we need our four inch foam ball and I'm going to use a screwdriver to poke a hole right through the center of it. I have a hole right in the middle and that's going to allow me to put twine through the center and that's going to be what the kissing ball actually hangs from. So now that I have a hole poked through my foam ball, I'm just going to use a straw to serve as a channel to feed my twine through. I need to cut off each end of the straw and then I'm going to use my twine to feed through. So my twine is about 18 inches in length once it's folded over. So up at the top, I just made a knot and at the bottom, I'm going to use a piece of a twig that I'm going to tie and that's gonna hold the bottom together. And I'll just snip off the end of my twine. I have the basis for my kissing ball ready and now I'm just going to hang it up and go ahead and stick all of my greens, my berries, anything that I want into my kissing ball. One of the reasons for my paddle wire is I'm going to take a length of it that I'm going to just wrap right along the bottom edge of my pine cone and sort of tie it off by twisting. going to clip the end of my wire just to a length that will be good enough to use this essentially as a spike if you will so that I can insert it into the bottom of my kissing ball. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with a few different pine cones so that they're all ready to use. I've gotten all my pine cones prepped and I even did that for the next project as well so that's just wrapping the wire and then the next thing to note is that anything you're going to put into your kissing ball you want the length to be fairly similar the whole way around so you can make a nice sphere looking item so I went ahead and I got some of the things that I needed just basically cut down to size and now the fun part I get to build the kissing ball. At this little cutie it came out so adorable it is so easy to do also the most time-consuming part of the entire process is just trying to fill in all the blank spaces I also decided on the red ribbon with the little pine cone decor up at the top just to finish it off because I thought the red tied in nicely with the red berries that I added ah! 
ah! So super simple, super easy. And now on to the next project to show you. The next project we're going to do is make garland. And you guys, it is so easy to do. We're going to use all of the same materials that we use to make our kissing ball. So it's just the forged items. So we're talking about our evergreen stems, our pine cones, anything with berries on it. Anything you want goes for a project like this. And what you wanna do is make bundles, these little bundles. My pine cone has the wire here and I just need to secure it into my bundle. But our bundles are going to be essentially the segments of our garland. So for this project, I need four segments that is going to be long enough to cover the table that I'm going to set it on. So I need to come up with four bundles like this, just layering on whatever greens, berries, pine cones, any fines you have, and wiring them together then simply attaching the segments to one another again with wire three of my segments will lay going this way one two three and my final one will be turned this way so it looks like i have an end on either side the more greens and more big bushy pieces you add to your garland, the wider and fluffier and bigger it's going to be, right? So you are in charge of how your garland is going to look by the end, how long it is, how wide it is, all of that. And it's just so simple because it's the most beautiful things that we're finding outside this time of year and putting them together. I can't wait to show you what it looks like in its place inside. about this garland project is that you can make it as bushy as you want or as long as you want. I ended up doing this in four sections so that it was the perfect length for this table that I wanted to set it on. Since these projects are super easy to do, I hope you found some inspiration for yourself and things that you can do for your home. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planting and happy crafting.